Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be doing another guide type video. It's been a while, but today we're going to be doing specifically a request in the comments, but something that I thought would be useful for everyone, and that is all gear milestones in Wizard 101. Now, I think Phantom did a video on this like a week or two ago, but um, it's, pos it's possible and quite likely that I have differing opinions than him, so... If you already watched that video, maybe you'll learn something new. If you haven't, maybe go watch that and you'll learn something new as well. But we're going to start off today pretty simply. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go level milestone by level milestone, tell you what gear is the best that you should possibly get, what I recommend, and whether it's essential or not. Because there's definitely gear that's beneficial, but not essential in the slightest. So let's go over that. Starting off at level 1. Personally, I never get any gear from level 1 to 10 just because I'm way too lazy But you can obviously come to the bazaar and buy level 5 gear extremely easily What you're gonna want to be looking for is the stuff with the most health because damage is not likely to be an actual thing that gear gives at level 5 um, Just go to the bazaar sort by level and then by school You probably want like if you were a death You'd probably want the health because you know this extra three bonus damage isn't gonna help you all that much but what you're going to be looking for for the future for bizarre gear is the percent damage gears like this um and you know stuff that you feel fits the best like i probably would have gotten this at level 15 um yeah so what i'm gonna say specifically is that from levels 1 to 25 you want to be using bizarre gear because because bizarre gear is really good at those levels and it's very satisfactory you don't need it you don't need other gear than this realistically um i know the one option would be kimbalug village at level 25 you don't really need that at all you can just get the level 25 gear and go on your way with that because it is <coughs> sorry obligatory sneeze uh it is more than apt to be able to help you um the gear i like specifically is the school design gear at level 25 those ones tend to give the most amount of stats um let me see if i can find any right here uh no there's none in the bazaar right now but basically the school design gear uh the gear that has school designs on it specifically give a lot of stats they're usually generally really good so keep that in mind you should have more than enough money to just buy it after questing definitely want to use bazaar gear from levels 5 to about 25 and then that's when you start getting to where there's actual gear sets that you can farm for that are beneficial for your character. At level 30, I'm not going to walk all the way to it because I'm way too lazy. But um, at level 30, you unlock Aquila, which you start by going to Cyrus Drake. Um, Aquila gear is incredibly beneficial to your character, even if you only get the Senator's gear. Uh, the Senator's gear is an improvement. But if you go even further, you can get the... Um, what's it called? Gear, the... Uh, Zeus gear and then the Zeus gear will hold you over for a while like and by a while I mean a while um but that is really that, that's really the main area that you want to farm for gear otherwise you can still continue to use bizarre gear but moving past that an important thing to note as well is the Barkingham Palace gear at level 40 you can get the Barkingham Palace gear which is better than the Zeus gear itself um you're going to be using either the Zeus gear or Barking and Palace, or maybe even a mixture of the two for about 20 levels because no gear is really better than those two for a hot minute. Um, the next best gear you get is either at level 56 with the Winter Test Crafted or level 60 with Waterworks. Now, um, I'll leave it up to you to figure out. Uh, I've made videos in the past on Winter Test Crafted, so I'll leave it for you to figure out where to get that and how to craft it. Trust me, though, it's really good gear. You're probably going to want that if you're too lazy to farm for waterworks. Otherwise, go to Wizard City, go to Triton Underwater, get the waterworks quest, and do waterworks. Waterworks will um, help you overall. The gear is incredibly good. I mean, you can realistically, that gear, either Winter Dust Crafted or the waterworks gear, is going to last you to level 100 in my eyes. Um, there's no reason to change it at all. Um, I forgot to mention, by the way, you're going to be wanting to use the Skyron Hasta from uh, Zeus for basically until level 100 when you can start crafting and getting better wands. 
But until then, you want to use that. It gives the most amount of damage flat. Really good wand. But um, the Waterworks gear as well gives the most amount of damage flat until level 100, really. Uh, the only real upgrades are some of the crafted gear. I know, like, in Chrysalis, the level 96 crafted gear is good as well. My Storm, for example, is using um, the Chrysalis crafted hat because I, ha I never got the uh, Darkmoor hat and I'm too lazy to get it. So, that's that. At level 100 is where things really shift. That's where you want to be getting Darkmoor gear, realistically. You can see my death has Darkmoor gear. And then boots... I'm using the Professor's Horde boots, but if you don't really have the option to get the Professor's Horde boots, Malastare boots work just as well. Um, wand, as I said, you want to be looking at the dropped wands and whatnot. You want to be e either using the Dark Moor Athame from Yevgeny or the Morgantha Athame. Both work really well. You want to be using the Morgantha Amulet and the Alpha and Omega Ring, which you get from Gladiator Demon Karis. Um, realistically anything i say right now if you look it up you will get the result because these are all very common gears so keep that in mind now th at this level with this gear you're not going to be changing gear for a while again the next time that you actually change gear is in the catacombs in dragoon gear which you can unlock at 130 once you've completed uh imperia part one with medulla in the husk once you do that you can get the catacombs quest go to the catacombs in golem court and get the dragoon gear to craft you want to craft the hat boots and amulet and you want to be using um you want to continue using the sethame and the robe you want to continue using malastare's robe because malastare's robe is incredibly good um the only uh, i can't actually go in here the only thing i would recommend changing at some point is the ring in caramel there's some good rings called the executive rings um they give high damage i know fires gives like 18 or 16 or something storm gives like 16 they're really good damage rings keep that in mind and possibly get those rings but that's basically the overview of all the gear in the game um i really i kind of went a bit fast here but all of those things are important to get at the levels that you get them as i said um but keep in mind that it's not the end all be all for example zeus gear is unnecessary to get in my opinion you really don't need it. You can continue using Bizarre Gear, honestly, until level 60 if you want, but it's just an added benefit. Senator's Gear is extremely easy to get because it's dropped from all of the enemies, so you probably want to get that as well. That's really useful. If you want to just get that and don't get the Zeus Gear, that's fine. Barkingham Palace is even easier to find than Zeus by a long shot. Like, Zeus, even if you have max levels with you, still takes about 10 minutes fastest. Uh, you can do the Barkingham Palace in probably about five or less if you have max levels helping you. Um, it's just a really short dungeon compared to Zeus, and it's really useful for farming for that gear, and it's all dropped from that final boss, uh, Dr. Jackal. Both are incredibly useful to do, but they're unnecessary, really. Um, the first time I'd say that it's necessary for gear is level 56 with the Winter Tusk gear, and specifically the Athame and Ring, and also the... Uh, winter tusk gear in of itself it's very useful um waterworks is almost necessary but if you use the winter tusk crafting gear that's fine as well it's a fine alternative definitely um in comparison uh the real first essential gear set you need is the malastare which is really painful because malastare is a hard boss to do but you definitely want this hat in this in this robe they're really useful the boots as well are really good because of the amount of damage they give the only reason i'm not wearing them is because i like that crit but nowadays realistically the crit isn't even as useful i could use the damage if i wanted to um the athame is definitely a necessity if not you can use the blade of fell titan or the morganth as i said there's three athames realistically you can use that uh point amulets not as important but that's really all I wanted to go over. That's all I wanted to say. Um, specifically because, um, you know, I, I just wanted to go over all of the different options that are available. Um, so if you disagree or if you have another option, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll read all of them and I'll let you know my opinion on it. Um, if I didn't mention it in this video, realistically, I almost never farm for it. That's, that's definitely my, um, 
my motto kind of is it's not important to farm for certain gear um especially like hades isn't important at all um zeus gear is almost completely unimportant the only reason i mention it is because a lot of people like it and the sky iron hasta is very useful to get it's a uh, quick upgrade by 10 percent damage really useful the only thing i would recommend at the end of this video uh now that i'm looking back is probably getting a pet or as early on as possible a pet that gives good stats like for example this pet right here um has triple damage plus the damage july socket on it that's four damages plus a crit really good pet if i had this in an early level that would be incredibly useful for me uh like 25 extra damage which is incredible at an early level so that's all i really wanted to say if you found this useful drop like at the sub button maybe throw a channel membership on there if you want to um again let me know if you have any recommendations in the comments below or if you disagree with certain things i find unnecessary probably will i find a lot of people think that my zeus gear opinion is wrong mostly because they like zeus gear i particularly don't so argue with me if you want see you there in the comments have a fantastic day thank you all for watching